Today I'm going to be adding layer 2 to my landscape painting and I've decided that I'm actually going to do a combination of watercolor painting and digital painting. So to prepare I took a photograph of my watercolor painting layer 1 and saved it to my computer and I am going to insert that into Klecky by clicking the little file opening button at the top. If I click this I can choose a photo from my computer. So I have a file, a photo that's already my landscape painting that I created with actual paint and I'm going to insert this as a background layer in my artwork. I'm going to just leave this in the center and I can always crop this when it's finished but I'm going to leave it right here. Now I have my painting as the first layer of my artwork and I can use the digital painting tools on top of this to add more detail, create more variety, or to push the illusion of space and create more depth in my painting. So the first thing I want to do is create another layer on top of this to create my drawing. So I'm choosing layers, adding a layer. I can see that it put a white background of paper and then layer two is my actual painting photo. Layer three is the one I'm going, going to be drawing on right now. Next I'm going to select what brush I want and I've decided that one of the first things I want to do is to add some texture and a little bit more detail to the layer of trees in the background of my painting. So I'm going to choose a color and I am choosing a brush and I'm going to use the new brush to create a texture in the background. Next I'm going to repeat that same process in the second layer of trees in my background. Next I'm going to add a layer of darker blue on top of the surface of the water to create shadows at the bottoms of the rocks that are sitting in the water and to create a greater variety of brush strokes within the surface of the water itself. Next I'm going to add a more saturated blue-violet shadow on the backs of the rocks. I used a more neutral gray when I was using watercolor paint and I know that one way to create the illusion of space is to use more saturated colors in the foreground and then gradually less saturated or more faded looking colors the farther I look into the distance. So I'm not going to add any more shadow to the, the smaller rocks that are in the background of my landscape, but I'm going to gradually add more and more vibrant color as I work my way toward the bottom of the screen. Right now, I'm looking at my painting overall to decide if I think it's complete and one of the things that I think is that the middle ground needs to be a bit softer and less saturated than the foreground and right now the violet that I've used in both layers is approximately the same value so I'm going to use the eraser tool at a low opacity so it's not solidly going to erase all of my color it's going to let some of the color show through um, with a pretty large brush and I'm just going to soak up a little bit of the color that I put down. Not all of it, just enough to soften it in comparison with the foreground rock itself. Like right now this is standing out as much as the foreground so I want to soften it just a little so that the middle ground is more saturated than the background the foreground is more saturated than the middle ground. The objects that are closest should have the brightest color. 
when I look at the background and the foreground, I know this is very saturated and the greens that I used are very bright. So one option that I could do is to go back over this with a very opaque brush, but a very large brush and a very light color. And I can actually soften up some of this as well. Now that I feel like my landscape is complete, I'm going to save it one more time using the Save Image button. And once the file is saved, I can crop the empty space from around the edge using my photo editing tool. If I open the file, I can use the editing tools within my previewer to crop the excess white space out of my artwork. I'm just going to click crop and now my artwork is complete.